Do you have a capacitor that has failed on your HVAC system? In today's video, I want to talk about some of the things that you may or may not know. I know this is one of the hot topics. A lot of folks, when they have a capacitor replacement on their heating and air systems, it's one of the things they can look up online. They can kind of see how much they cost. And sometimes folks are concerned about how much they were charged by the heating and air company. And I'm not going to get into all of that. I think that there's certainly times that heating and air companies could maybe charge a little less. But I also think there are times when customers need to understand that a lot of heating and air companies have something called non-billable hours. They've got to charge a certain rate to cover their overhead and sometimes they are charging you for the travel out, the labor, and so on. So again, I could see comments on both sides. If you want to comment and leave your opinion on that matter, feel free, but I'm not going to get into that right now in this video. The big thing that I think is overlooked in our industry sometimes is the fact that not all capacitors are created equal. Some of them are better than others. They just have a better quality to them. They're built a little better. They're made to last a little longer. They're built to withstand the heat. When you're talking about a capacitor and the things that it does, the fact that there's dielectric fluid and all the other components that are inside a capacitor, heat is their enemy and that's why they are made the way they are. A lot of folks don't understand that they are made to not overheat and when they do, that's when they do things like bulge and fail. I think most guys in our industry would probably agree that not all capacitors are created equal. Some are better than others. And one easy way that you can determine if it's well made compared to the ones that are not is there are two capacitor brands that are made here in America. I'm not gonna dive into those. Who knows, you may watch this video in the future and that may not even be accurate anymore. Both of them do make a better capacitor than some of the ones that we see imported into our country. Now this is not one of those videos where I say I'm real patriotic and everything imported is horrible. I actually do think gone are the days where all imported products are worse than the things made here. I think there's many instances where you could probably find products that are made here that are probably the same or even sometimes less quality, but capacitors are not one of them. I think there is a clear difference between some of the ones we're seeing imported and the ones that we're seeing made here. The quality control is better and just the products themselves. A lot of them even come with better warranties. So again, you may not have been aware of that. I would say if you are getting a company to replace your capacitor, have them replace it with a better one. Have them replace it with one of the ones made here in America. If nothing else, even if it's argued that the quality isn't that much better, one one thing that you can't argue is the fact that some of them come with better warranties. Let me know your thoughts on this. Comment down below. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I talk about four tips for higher efficiency from your HVAC system. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.